Transitioning a scanned email account using Google's Gmail service if you have it set up using less secured apps. First thing we need to do is log into your Gmail account. Then we will select the account button in the top right hand corner. Then choose manage your Google account. Find and choose security on the left side of the page. Scrolling down you will see less secure app access is enabled. We won't make any changes with this, but I want you to see that as of May 30th, 2022, less secure apps will be going away. Let's scroll back up to signing in to Google. Select the off option in two-step verification to start the wizard to enable two-step verification. Click on getting started. Enter the Gmail password and choose next. Confirm the phone number of the account holder as it will send a text or a phone call to that number to securely verify the account owner is logging in. I have left the verification code to be sent as a text. Let's enter the six digit code and choose next. Finally, we can choose to turn on two step verification. Now let's go back to security and the signing into Google section. Let's choose app password. App passwords allow for devices like a copier that cannot handle two-step verification to have a custom password that allows the device to log in and send an email without needing a cell phone to authenticate. Re-enter your Gmail password and hit Next. For our Xerox device, we will hit the drop-down and choose Other. Let's give this device a name like Xerox. Choose Generate. Here is our generated app password. If you forget to copy it, write it down, or save it, you may have to regenerate a password as it will not be displayed after you hit done. Now that we have our app password copied, let's go to the Xerox device and paste it in. I'm going to the device's local IP address and selecting advanced. The error you see is from this device not having a security certificate installed. Choose properties, then log in with the admin account. Let's dig into apps on the left side of the page. Hover down to email and click setup. We're going to choose edit and SMTP settings. Here we can double check the device's email address. Let's choose the SMTP authentication tab. We will now paste the app password from Gmail into the password boxes below the Gmail login email address. Scroll down, hit save. Going back into SMTP settings, I'm going to copy the device's email address and then go to the test configuration tab and paste it in. We will choose send email to send a test from the device to make sure the Gmail app password is working. We can pull up the Gmail account and see the test email was successfully delivered to our inbox. That's it. I'd like to thank you for checking out this video and I hope it has helped you with your Xerox device.